All right, guys, next example. I believe this is number 10. Um, so let's start off again by drawing in our transformer. So we don't care what the primary is. We're looking at the secondary here. Uh, secondary looks like it's a Y connection. Uh, and the source is a Y. The load is also a Y as well. And what other values are we given here? Uh, we're given the 13.8. Uh, we know that that is our line value because we can see that that is a value that's on the outside. So we can draw it in our 13,800 volts as our line value. Clearly that is feeding the load. Uh, but just be careful with this one. Don't get lulled into uh, the fact that we have 13.8 and on the previous example we had 13.8. The phase value right here is going to be root 3 less. So we've got to take 13,800 and divide it by root 3. So let's start off doing this, right? Because these guys are the same. That was step 1. Uh, but step 2 is going to be taking our 13,8 and dividing it by root 3. So let's bring up the calculator here. And we got, what, 13.8, so 13,800, and we're going to divide it by root 3. And that gives us 7,967.43, 7,967.43. There we go, okay? So that's our phase voltage, so that is 7,967 volts, 0.43. And that is our phase value there. That was step number two. And these guys are a mirror image of each other. So this one is 7,967.43 volts on the phase as well. So we'll draw that in here. 7,967.43 volts on the phase. Okay, next step is we've got to uh, find our phase current. So usually I change uh, colors for the current. I think I've been doing red for the current. So our next step is to find our phase current. And essentially that's going to be the same over here. That's because these guys are mirror images of each other. <clears throat> so for that guy, let's just do an Ohm's law. And we've got 7,967.43 volts on the phase. Our phase impedance is 1,500. I'm saying impedance, but it's basically just resistance because all we have is a resistor there. Okay, so uh, 7,967.43 divided by 1,500 will give us our phase current. So we got uh, 7,967.43. Uh, we're going to divide by that resistance of 1,500 on the phase, and that gives us 5.311. Beautiful. That's the current on the inside there. So that will give us uh, 5.311 amps on the phase. This is identical. And because we have the Y connections, we know that I line is equal to I phase. So this guy is also equal to 5.311 amps on the line. Okay, this guy is feeding that load, so this is also equal to 5.311 amps on the line. So that current is going to be everywhere, right? This is going to be 5.311 amps on the line. Obviously, this is the exact same current. And then any current on the inside is going to be 5.311 amps on the phase, right? So same current all the way through the circuit. Okay, last thing we need to do is find our power. Uh, so let's do, I don't know, let's do black for, uh, for the power. So again, the VA and the wattage are identical because uh, we have just resistors, right? So um, these resistors right here are, are our only load. We don't have any coils or capacitors. So for this guy, we're, again, we're doing V line times I line times root three. So let's drop her down a touch. This guy is V line times I line times root three. And let's see, line voltage is 13.8. Our line current is 5.311. And then we'll multiply it by root 3. 
and that'll give us the total wattage, which will be identical to the amount of uh, VA. So let's finish that guy off. So we got 13,800, one more zero, uh, times 5.311. Okay, and then we're gonna multiply by the square root of three, and that gives us 126, 126,945. Beautiful. And this guy is essentially the exact same, right? Because this guy is feeding that load. Beautiful. Okay, so hopefully you were able to uh, to do this guy. Here, let's make this a little bit bigger so we can see everything. So we found, uh, let's see, given value was the 13.8 on the line. We use that to find our phase voltage of 7,967. They were mirror images of each other because the secondary of the transformer and the Y load are both Ys. Uh, so both the line and the phase values are identical here. Then we found Ohm's law doing 7,967 divided by the 1500 gave us 5.3311 amps on the phase. And it's a Y circuit, so it's more of a series circuit. So the current on the phase and the line are identical. Finally, in order to find the total power required for this, this circuit, we took our V line times I line times root three which gave us roughly 127 kilowatts for this load. And the secondary of the transformer is feeding that load, so that secondary of the transformer is being asked to provide 127,000 kilowatts. All right, guys, let's see how fast uh, we did this guy. Uh, still six and a half minutes. So six and a half minutes seems to be the fastest that I can get through her. See if you can get her to go a little bit faster, but I think that's basically, we went, I, I mean, I'm, jammer, I'm yammering at the end here, but, uh, Six and a half minutes is probably the fastest you're going to get these guys done. All right, hopefully everything worked out for you. I'll see you on the next one for, uh, what, 9, 10? We're going on to 11 next.